Well, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I have a special message mainly for the YouTube Christian community. Uh, in the last, well, about 15, 20 years, this false doctrine of white privilege has come about, and My issue here is that the Christian churches are basically signing on to this. This is history repeating itself. What got me started was I saw some YouTuber named Abba Father, who was criticizing one of my favorite commentators, Lisa Haven, who claims to be a born again. She has her own show. I listen to Lisa some. I really enjoy your videos. So kudos to Lisa Haven. He's claiming that she's a fake Christian and all this. Okay, so I'm an agnostic, people. Remember that. So I'm not getting into your religious battles. But I am going to explain what's going on with this white privilege thing. I'm going to show you some of the churches that are joining uh, in on this. Well, if you're smart, and you remember one of these churches, you'll run. Why don't I say you'll run? Well, you should run. It's because this is history repeating itself. Now, the page that you're seeing right here is the Holocaust Museum online. So I think this information is unimpeachable as far as I'm concerned. Now, Nazi pro propagandists portrayed Jews as an alien race that fed off the host nation, poisoned its culture, seized its economy, and enslaved its workers and farmers. Now that's what they're saying. They said about Jews. This hateful depic depiction, although neither nor New nor new, unique to the Nazi party, now became a state supported image. As the Nazi regime tightened control over the press and published publishing after 1933, propagandists tailored message to diverse audiences to include the many Germans who were not Nazis and did not read party papers. Public displays of anti-Semitism in Nazi Germany took a variety of forms. Now pay attention, from posters and newspapers to films, radio addresses. Propagandists offered more subtle anti-Semitic language and viewpoints for educated middle-class Germans offended by crude caricatures. University professors, pay attention, university professors and religious leaders gave anti-Semitic themes, respectably, respectability by incorporating them into their lectures and church sermons. I'm going to read that again. University professors and religious leaders gave anti-Semitic themes respectability by incorporating them into their lectures and church sermons. And that talks about well, some of the others that got uh, killed by Nazis. Uh, gym, gypsies, homosexuals, Joe Holmes, so on and so forth. Now, what do we have happening with whites today, with this so-called white privilege? They're saying that whites are privileged, we own the banks, we're oppressing the black people and all those. We're, I took a sip of my coffee. Public displays of anti-Semitism took a variety of forms from posters. There are posters and displays on our campuses now against whites.
uh, newspapers talk about white privilege. Same thing. Films. Radio addresses. Liberals don't do very well on the radio, so, in this country. So, I don't know about that. But again, it says, uh, church sermons were talking about white pri uh, Jewish privilege and all that. So, what I was going to do is show you some of the churches that have basically said, screw this, white people are privileged and we need to fight that. Because what they're doing is they're encouraging genocide, probably cultural genocide first, but I wouldn't count on this staying at cultural genocide. Hang on, I'll take you on a little tour of just a few of them. Now this should chill you to the bone. Religion news service. Churches examine white privilege. Notice right up at the top of this, right above the headline, says pound black lives matter. A year ago when the death of Freddie Gray and on resulting unrest in Baltimore filled news. The Reverend Kathy D Dwyer felt she had to do something. Every time I turned on TV, it just felt like I was getting punched in the gut from watching an issue of racism just escalate in our country, said the white pastor of a predominantly white United Church of Christ congregation in Arlington, Virginia. They, uh... United Church of Christ is one of the ones that I'm looking at because they posted their Ten Commandments of White Privilege. And nobody ever talks about, nobody ever shows videos of uh, white people getting shot on the street by the police. Ever notice that? The only one was Lavoie Finnicum, and he didn't get a very good uh photo of that. But of course it was justified. This really isn't about race, this is about fascism anyway. Because believe me, white uh black folk aren't safe. Cracking the shell of whiteness. Uh digiturp dot com they're not necessarily I don't think they're religious just throwing that in there. Okay. Now we get to the juicy stuff. Quakers. They are apostate. Now they're climbing onto this. I'm I'm gonna call anyone any uh religion is climbing onto this saying yes there's white privilege. I'm going to say, you are apostate, and I'm not going to apologize. Quakers, apostate. Now, you Christians out there, if you're a YouTube Christian, get away from these. Look up your church and see if they're involved with this stuff, and get away from it. If they are involved with it, get out of there. Because they're, I showed you the stuff from the Holocaust Museum. These people are doing the same thing as the Nazis. I don't see any... Re there may be methodology differences, but uh, it's the same thing that happened to the Jews and others in Germany. It may be working a little slower, but they are working towards another Holocaust. And... Here we have another religious guy. His name is Jason Coker. Notice the... Take a look at the address up at the top. BaptistNews.com See, the Baptists are going apostate too. Basically, it means they've gone away from their message of redemption through the blood of Jesus Christ, and they're getting into 
this attack on the race that I'm a member of. I'm kind of like a mongrel. I don't really know who my ancestors were. I don't care either. You can care who your parents are and grandparents. That's about all I care about. White privilege is mostly not experienced for white people. They're not profiled, not pulled over, etc. Because of the race. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. White people are not criminalized because of the race. That's why a white man can carry an AR-15 in public. And only receive a qualified response from police officers who are then rebuffed and reminded of the Second Amendment. Oh, Christ. That is incredible bullshit. You know what would happen if I went out in the middle of town and I was carrying around a, just a twenty two? I'd have cops on me almost immediately. It takes them an hour in an emergency, but... If you're out there with a uh, 22, they'll be on your case right away. And I live in a mostly white area. So that is a lie. Uh, here's a Jewish site that talks about the persecution again of Jews. You'd think we'd learn. You see, back then, if you were Jewish, you were on top of the game, according to these people. They're saying the same things. And by the way, uh, it's more than just Quakers and Baptists and so forth. The United Church of Christ and our apostate. This is getting into the churches all over the place. And, you know, I'm warning you, get out of that church if it is involved with this. Get out and stay out. Uh, I'm an agnostic, so I can't say they're worshipping demons, but I can say they're worshipping evil. I don't care. I said it. The Quaker religion is worshipping evil. And the, the Methodists, same thing. They've gone apostate. They're climbing onto this uh, white privilege thing. So as far as I'm concerned, they're worshipping evil. I didn't say demons. I have my own ideas about that. And here's an article from World Not Daily about the United Church of Christ. We'll see if that comes up in that article. Might, might not. Right, right here it is. Um... United Church of Christ. So they are apostate. They are worshipping evil. There's the Holocaust Museum online again. I don't even know who these uh, people are. This is another religious denomination. I can, I can figure it out. I don't really care. Like I said, I'm an agnostic, and this is one of the reasons why. Is that these churches are turning to evil. Uh, that's a different issue. Jill Stein got arrested. Uh, anyway, I'd say stop going after a small fry. I'm not saying Lisa Haven or Nita Fuentes are or, or not Christians. I'm not getting into that debate one way or the other. Well, what I am saying is, if you're a Christian, and you see these churches that are abandoning the message of redemption through the blood of Christ, 
and instead they're uh, coming after whites. You know, first you start with culture, and then you uh, start herding them into camps. If you're a Christian, you remember one of these churches, get out while you still can. I would run. R-U-N, run. Now, well, the next thing I'm about to say is not directed solely at white folks, because I showed you the part here where it said that others uh, had to fear the Nazis as well, and it's quite true. <clears throat> so, if somebody ever, I'm going to say this, if someone ever tells you, Okay, we're taking you to this education center. We want to get so many people on the bus. Don't. Run. R-U-N, run away. Document it, if you can safely document it, document it, and then run. The same type of thing that happened in Nazi Germany. They loaded them onto cattle cars and hauled them to the extermination camps. Do you think the Nazis put out press releases saying we're killing 500 Jews today? Nope, I don't think so. So, I tell, I'm telling you, if you remember one of these churches, run. They are apostate, they are evil, they are dedicated to evil. If I was a Christian, I might say they were dedicated to demonic evil. Well, I'm just going to say generically as I'm a f fairly secular guy, I do have some leanings, by the way, toward uh, deism. But I'm a fairly secular guy, and... I can say that they are dedicated to evil. The Quaker Church is dedicating itself to evil. The United Church of Christ is dedicating itself to evil. And many of the Baptist denominations, uh, United Churches in Pennsylvania or something, it just goes on and on. They are dedicating themselves to evil. The same type of evil they got millions and millions of people killed in Nazi Germany. Run. That's my message. Run. R-U-N. Run. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.